What I would like to do first, which is what we're going to call the shortcut scenario, we're going to go ahead and shift uh, the supply curve by exactly the same size, exactly the same size as the demand curve. So notice that um, the sizes are pretty much the same. There is also something else to be aware and careful, which is a good hint um, that turns out helpful later. If you choose the same size shift, and recall that now this is going to be our new supply curve, which I'm labeling S1, always in this scenario, you're going to find that the intersection of S1 with D1 is actually found at E1, which is the new equilibrium point that I'm just marking here and also labeling, which happens to be, in this case, exactly underneath. So E1 is exactly underneath E0. Here is E0, here is E1. That is not a coincidence. It always happens that in a shortcut scenario where the sizes of the shift are the same, the equilibrium quantity in this case, which is found in the horizontal axis, happens to be equal. So as you read the results from this model, you will see that on the quantity axis, what we have is a situation where I'm trying to put a label that the equilibrium quantity zero equals equilibrium quantity one. And this is not a coincidence. This is actually to be expected. So I'm indicating that my E1 equilibrium point produces an equilibrium quantity which is equal to the equilibrium quantity in E0. If we want to read the results um, with respect to the equilibrium price, we can find them on the vertical axis. So I'm going to put labels now for... I'm going to put labels for um, equilibrium price 1. Well, that was equilibrium price zero, as well as equilibrium price one. So we have been able to find two equilibrium prices on the graph. And as it can be seen, equilibrium point one occurs underneath or below equilibrium point zero. If I were to show this result with an arrow, I would indicate that equilibrium price has dropped. As you can tell, the arrow points downward. The result on the equilibrium quantity is actually the same, which means equilibrium quantity has not changed. 